Hello friends, in this tutorial, uh, we are going to learn how to integrate Gumroad with no code API. Uh, for example, when you make a sale of your product on Gumroad, uh, you want to manage its license. Uh, you can do that through no code API. After you log into gumroad.com uh, forward slash products, uh, you have to give the name of the product. Here, give it my software, give it a price. One or more physical goods, no, it does not contain it because it's a software. Next, add some description. This is my software's description. Then you can change the cover if you want. You can change the uh, name of the button. Please select the software and buy it. After that, you can add some additional details if you have some. Uh, here, you are going to upload your software. So, we are going to upload a sample file from here, for example. Next, uh, we have a pricing of $5 and allow customers to pay what they want. We want to generate a unique license key for each sale. We have a pricing amount, no versions, no limit sales product. Maybe we want that only. Uh, 10 softwares we sold and publish it so it is saying that uh, this software has uh, published to make sure that it is working okay we can go to this link and uh, here we can see that this product is showing okay in the next step we are going to go to no code api where we are going to log into our no code api dashboard and in the dashboard we are going to look for gumroad in the marketplace Click on use this API and here make Gumroad API. We are going to give it a name and here we are going to give it a token. So to get the token, we are going to click on this link. Here we are going to go down and give our app a name, a URL, redirect URL and then click create application. Here generate access token, copy it to your clipboard, paste it in access token field and click create. So once you click create, you are going to see your endpoint showing up over here. In this endpoint, we can list all the products if we want. For example, we want to see all the products which are there. I have only one product that is software. We can find all the sales which we have done so far. We have not made any sale on this software. If we have any subscriber on a particular product or a subscription based uh, platform, we can get the list from here as well and how to make sure that this is a valid license or not. Uh, here in the product permanent link, we are going to get the product key and the product key is, you can see it is my software. We are going to paste it over here and in the license key, I am going to give the license which I am going to get after a successful sale of my software. If I click on I want this, here I have a test card uh, you can see that this is a test card because I generated this uh, product and after I pay, I am going to get an email in our inbox that your uh, purchase has been successfully made. So after uh, my purchase was successful, I can go to view content and uh, get all the contents of my software and I can also see that there is a license key which is generated right next to uh, this software. We are going to make sure that this license key is valid or not by no code API. We are going to input it over here. And uh, through this endpoint, um, by making a post request, we can make sure that the license key which a user has entered uh, is valid or not. And then we can allow him to join our community or we can uh, um, show him uh, some more pages on our own personal website. So this endpoint is very important. You can use it for these purposes. And after we say that uh, test this endpoint, it is going to say that this is a true success. The product ID is okay. It, uh, it is showing us the email of the user who bought our product, all the important fields which we may require to create the user's profile. So if we uh, change this license key with something else, we can see that it 
gives a failure message. So through this verify license endpoint, we can make sure that the license key which user entered is valid or not. Now we can enable this license key by going to the same procedure. We are going to write my software over here and I'm going to paste it over here and I'm going to say that I want to enable this license. After I click enable, it said that this software has been successfully enabled. But if I disable this license point and then click test this API. After that, it is going to show us that this endpoint has been successfully disabled. If this uh, endpoint is working okay and it has been disabled, we can go back and make sure that this is disabled and it is no more giving us the success message like it was giving before. This is it. If you have any queries, feel free to reach us. We will be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching.